All right, welcome back, good people. This episode I'm titling "Why It's Important to Be Yourself." Why it's important to be yourself? Why do you think that is? First of all, <laughs> that's the only person you can be. You can't be me. I can't be you. It's important to be yourself, and. When I share why it's important with being yourself with some of the people I share information with, uh, it gives me a chance to kind of really uh, understand why I do the things that I do the way I do the things that I do. Because <clears throat> think about this. If I invite you to come and spend some time at one of our events, let's say our event has about 50 people, right? That's not a lot of people. But it is a lot of people, right? It has about 50 people, and you're not going to speak. You're just going to come and experience what's going on, right? As you come into the room, people that don't know you are going to react to you based on several things, right? What a, what's one of those things? The way you dress? The way your hair is? The way your suit is? Or if you're a lady, the way your nails is? Or, all that good stuff. Yeah, we're all going to be uh, processed in that manner. We're going to be viewed uh, in that way. And is that a bad thing? Well, good or bad, it's a thing. <laughs> it's going to happen, right? And you're going to be uh, reacted to differently based on those that criteria. How you dressed, how your hair looks, what's your hygiene like, all that. And, and I'm not saying that that's not good. I'm just simply letting you know that that is there. But you already know that, right? Okay, now let's say I invite you to that same event and you're going to speak for 15 minutes about what you talk about, what you know what you know that you are good at. You're going to talk about that for 15 minutes. How are people going to look at you then? Now see, before you were just a regular person in the audience. Now you, you've you been elevated to the, the speaker. Now wait a minute. You gotta look at this person differently, right? That's how life works. That's why it's important to always be who you are. <laughs> because if what got you here to be able to go on stage was you mimicking or pretending to be or uh, idolizing someone else and making it seem like that you are them that won't work because people in the audience can identify authenticity, right? They hear things. They've seen things. If everything you're saying is something someone else has said or everything you're doing is something someone else is doing, they're going to have an opinion about you. <laughs> they really will. And as they should, right? Because the one thing about being you is that when you show up, ladies and gentlemen, there's a certain energy you bring that no one on the planet can bring but you. No one. And that's a good thing. That is what separates you from the next person. You can be identical. You can be triplets quadruplets, however you say that word, but you have your own identity. I like to say we are all individually wrapped. And when you start to unwrap it, what you get will not be what you get when you unwrap that other person. <laughs> Just know that. So uh, look at life like that as you're going through your journey in life. This Life is a journey. You have the highs and the lows. You have the goods and the bads, right? You have, you meet people that are beautiful people. You meet people you can't stand, right? It's a journey. You learn things. You succeed. You fail. You keep going, right? People you love pass on. Life goes on, period. That's how it works. It's nothing personal. That's why when you show up, to represent who it is and what you do. Don't be afraid. Don't be reluctant to just be you. Because you are enough. 
<laughs> I know. You don't see that. But trust me, you are enough. But you have to be in control of you, which means you have to do some self-evaluating from time to time. Not all the time, but every now and then. One of the things that I do, Larry James, is that I have, I have systems that put in place that bring results. So as I get good results, I start to feel a certain way about that, right? And I have to remain humble. I have to, you know, I always like to dial it back a little bit and don't get so excited because I know what I'm sharing with you guys, how it works. If I get too excited and I get to focus on that too much, when that collapses, I have a problem, right? It's like those energy drinks. I don't drink them, but I've heard about them. If you drink an energy drink and it gets you zooted, gets you hyped up, and then when you come down, it makes you feel a certain kind of way, right? It works the same with when people come at, come at you negatively or with negative stuff, bad stuff. They want to bring you down. You can't get too caught up in that either, right? Because this too shall pass, right? You're going to have people who cross your path who have bad intentions. You're going to have that, especially if you're moving. If you're moving in this world, you're going to have people that are going to cross paths with you to bring some resistance. I always reference it to you sitting in a classroom of students, and you got, let's say there's 20 kids in the room, and you're one of those kids, and you raise your hand. What happens? Everybody in the room turns around and look at you. They're waiting to see what you have to say. One or two of them really want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> but not because they want to hear it, but because they want to respond to it. They want to say, you stupid. What kind of question was that to have? Well, whatever, right? You're going to have that. You have to be strong enough. You have to be thick-skinned enough to get past that. Just like when you start your business. That's a one-man show <laughs> for a while. You have to wear several hats. Now, going in, a lot of people don't know that. But you have to be a lot of things to a lot of people in order just to get it off the ground. And sometimes that takes years with an S. I know it took me years with an S. <laughs> but I started late, right? But it's never too late. But... Now things are shifting a little bit, right? Now I'm starting to feel the winds of that hard work and dedication that was put into that process. That lets you know you're on the right path, right? Now I can make moves based on what I want to do more so than what the system is allowing me to do, right? And that's how it works. You, you want that to happen like that. But you always have to believe that you can do that. You can have that. You can be, do, and have anything you want, but you have to be able to, one, identify what that is for you, create a process to get it, and start that process. And don't stop. As a matter of fact, start slow. I always like to reference my clients to start with one or two days a week because you can always increase. It's like this lady was telling me one day, I'm not really a cook or nothing like that. But she says, if you have to add some ingredients like sugar or something like that, you have to add a little sugar and then taste it. Because you don't want to just add too much because you can't take it back out. Right? So you don't want to give people something to do five days a week when they've already indicated to you that they're procrastinators. Right? <laughs> That's not going to get done. It's not going to happen. But they will have an excuse. And that excuse will satisfy them. But only them. So, you know, just be aware that that, that works like that, too. Uh, these podcast episodes, I'm really uh, working on me. I'm not really working on putting out a whole lot of good content per se, although I do believe in bringing value. But I'm more so focused on what I'm sharing with you guys about how to become comfortable with yourself. Because I need to know how I respond to certain things, right? I need to know... Uh, what's necessary to grow the next thing in the path that I'm on, right? I need to know that because I'm 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 the type of uh, entrepreneur who I walk the walk and I talk the talk. I, if I'm not going to be a part of your system, I'm going to tell you that. If I'm willing to be a part of your system, I'll tell you that. 
but I will leave no doubt in your mind whether or not I am or I'm not because that's the type of person I am. Everyone's not like that. <laughs> Some people will say they will do it and won't do it. Can you imagine? That happens. <laughs> Don't get affected. Don't get offended by that. You made the call, right? I said, okay, I'm going to bring you in. You'll be there? Okay. And you don't show up. Well, look, the next time you got to show up, oh, no. <laughs> Not in my world. There is no next time. Because, see, you have to know what you're going to do just like I have to know what I'm going to do. I'm putting myself on the line, and I can't let you ruin my reputation that I'm building based on you following through on what you say you're going to do. Now, I understand that thing. It happened. I understand that. But it needs to be real good. Really good. And you should use that same criteria moving forward with your system because if you do, then you won't allow what I call knuckleheads to become your knucklehead. <laughs> right? You won't allow someone who really don't know or want to do that to show you that they don't really want or know how to do that. You don't want that. It's okay for them to be what I call spectators in this life. So you have people going through life who are in the game. They're playing, they're doing, they're learning, they're falling, they're making mistakes, they're growing. And then you have people on the sidelines who are spectators watching these other people move and, and you know, succeed and fail and start over again and on and on and on. You, you got a choice of which one of those you want to be. You want to be on the sideline of your own life or you want to get in your own game. You want to get in the game. Let me say this, though. We only have one to give. Only one life. What are you doing with yours? That is the question. And can you do more? Could you have been more? Could you have done more? You have to ask yourself that. That's called self-assessing. And you need to do that on a regular basis. All right, listen. I had such a good time with you guys. I'm going to shut it down right now because I got now I got to go upload these to uh, another system so that I can send them out to the world, right? That's how it works. You willing to put in the work? I'll see you on the next show.